community? So there's really two aspects of this question. One is that as medical professionals, we are treating a life-threatening condition to the best of our ability. But for a patient who has just been told that they have TTP, a disorder they have never ever heard of, being put in the hospital, sometimes in the ICU with a large IV in their neck and told them that if you don't get this procedure, you will die. This is a huge shock. And patients really do struggle with anxiety and symptoms that are very similar to post-traumatic stress. So I think it's very important for the patient experience to acknowledge these feelings and give patients the time and the information that they need to come to grips with their diagnosis, because this is not going away. TTP is a relapsing disease. And from my experience with my patients, the fear of relapse stays with patients for months and years after the episode because of their initial experience that can be quite traumatic. And the second aspect of this is the life-threatening condition that you as a medical provider are trying to treat. And there are certainly signs and symptoms that we watch out for that might indicate improvement or deterioration. So the first thing we want to see is no worsening of clinical symptoms. For example, if a patient has presented just with a mild headache and numbness and tingling, we certainly do not want to see progression to stroke-like symptoms um, or any other sort of worsening in their clinical condition. In terms of improvement, we like to see the platelet count improving and the lactate dehydrogenase level improving um, as we start plasma exchange and carry on daily. We do start to get a little bit worried if at day five or so the platelet count hasn't improved significantly or at least to 50,000 or is getting worse, or if the lactate dehydrogenase level is not coming down because then we term it refractory TTP and we may need to rethink our treatment algorithm here.